Welcome back to the Aligned and Unstoppable podcast. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. Um, I thought I would record this episode to help you deepen your uh, goals that you've been setting. And some of us set them, some of us don't. Some of us find goal setting triggering. Some of us are like, I'm going to do it. And then like a week later, we're like, I didn't do it. I don't know what I'm doing, but this is going to hopefully help you to determine where you might be blocked in your business and help to give you the next step forward to keeping yourself in your highest alignment Um, because I'm relating chakras to goals. Um, So I want to help you determine, is there a place in your energetic field that might be a little bit out of alignment that could be stopping you from business growth. That's what I'm here to share with you today. Um, So if you're new here, I'm Emily Ahrens, warm welcome. I'm happy you're here listening to the podcast. For all the listeners who've been around for a while, thank you so much for being here. We have, I think we're at 525 525,000 podcast downloads and so many reviews. So please keep those wonderful reviews coming. It helps me to help more people. And I'm absolutely here to do more collaborations and help make more of an impact this year. So if you have a podcast and you'd like me to be a guest on, I would love to chat with you. Definitely reach out to me. So I want to help you to determine are your chakras in some way blocking your business growth? I know eventually I will have a quiz on this, so don't you worry. Um, But first and foremost, you have to understand the fact that your chakras, your energy, and your physical body are not these two separate things, okay? So a lot of us can see like those beautiful like Buddha charts in the yoga studio with the rainbow dots on them. And we're like, oh, that's cool. That's like a yoga thing, I guess. But it's not just a yoga thing. This is actually like a map of your energetic system. So these are your seven main chakras. There's the crown over the top of your head, the third eye in the center of the forehead, the throat in the center of the throat, heart in the center of the chest. We keep going down the solar plexus, a couple inches above the navel, sacral chakra, a couple inches beneath the navel and root chakra is between the legs. And so each of these chakras have a very specific job, a specific meaning, and they carry a specific energy. So for example, two of the blocks chakras that I see a ton within entrepreneurs um, is the heart chakra. And guess what else? Who wants to know? Throat chakra. So this throat chakra and this heart chakra, why do I see these two chakras showing up a ton within entrepreneurs? Because we need them the most. So I'll just give you a quick um, run through. And when we get to the throat and heart, we'll kind of spend a minute there talking about it. And you can determine, am I blocked there too? Um, And also, if you are wanting to learn more about your chakras and how to get your chakras in alignment with your business I have brought back my business and soul alignment experience. We're starting it for the first time this year um, here in January at the end of the month. And through the business and soul alignment experience, you're going to learn how to rapidly reduce your stress, release anxiety, and reignite your highest potential, even if you're short on time. So you're going to learn more about chakras. You're going to learn through an assessment that I give you to see where am I aligned? Where am I not? What do I need to do to fix this? And fix it fast so that the rest of my year can be awesome. Um, So let's quickly run through the chakras. Okay. So crown chakra, the top of our head, this is plugging you into spirit to heaven. So just like we think about plugging a light into a a power outlet, this is the same kind of thing. So you could have a light in your room, like a lamp in your room, but if it's the cord's not plugged into the power source, that light is not turning on. Think of your crown chakra in the same way, right? So we had to plug into source to allow energy to flow through us. And oftentimes, like we think that we're this like self-generating energy machine and we're just going to get it done and drink coffee and whatever. That's not going to work and it's not going to be able to sustain you. It's going to lead you to massive burnout. That's part of the mentality of working harder and not working smarter and in alignment. Okay. Dropping down into third eye. This is our intuition. This is our inner knowing. This is trusting our wisdom. And so we can sometimes Sometimes be out of alignment in our third eye because we're so used to looking outside of ourselves for all of the answers instead of being able to trust in our own wisdom. And so part of the, one of the things that I think a lot of entrepreneurs mess up, especially um, even as you grow really big, I mean, this is not just for new entrepreneurs, this is for anybody, is that we're so programmed to look outside of ourselves. But these are trends and fads that change over time. 
what's never going to change and what's always going to be in season and in style is our intuition. Our intuition is like our inner GPS. So if you need to make a change or a pivot, it's going to reroute you to the place where you need to be. So instead of wondering and worrying about what's my next step and what's the next thing going to happen, your intuition is going to say recalculating don't you worry right this way, please. And so you'll always have that deeper level of knowing and trust that no matter what it is that you're being guided to do, it's always in your highest and best outcome. Obviously easier said than done. I get it, but this is part of the work that I do to help more people to trust their intuition. Obviously I love to teach people that and I'd love to teach you more about it and I'd have more episodes on it. Let's drop down, keep going, throw chakra. I'm going to try to do this in like a 15 minute episode. I don't know if I can do that, but let's try throat chakra. This is about speaking your truth. This is also about visibility. So eh, eh, are the alarms going off now for you? This might be why you are blocking yourself from true visibility, from truly being your authentic self, for looking outside and comparing yourself to others, for feeling like an imposter. Shall I go on? I don't think so. We feel like shit, got it. Let's work on our throat chakras. This is also really funny. When I released this podcast, like when I first started creating this podcast, I, re- I batch record a dozen episodes and I released it on iTunes. The day that it actually hit iTunes, my voice went out. I was not sick. I didn't have any respiratory illness. I just had no voice. And so that is how my throat chakra was like, let me upgrade you. And I had that instant upgrade, but it was like, how, what? It was so bizarre. But also because I've been doing energy healing for 23 years, This is just part of my day-to-day. Like, I get it. I understand. And the more that you understand your chakras and your energy field and your alignment, everything in your business gets so much easier because it's not going to be like, why did this happen? And why didn't that happen? Your system is going to already tell you everything you need to know. So when you start to get a little scratchy, a little head cold, a little aches and pains, my back just went out. Oh, you know why? And then it it directs you to how you can receive that healing within your body and energy field. Okay. Dropping down into the heart chakra. Somebody must be here. Dropping into the heart chakra. If you hear my dog barking, sorry about that. This is what it is. Um, When you drop into the heart chakra, this heart chakra is how we give and receive unconditional love. This is also how we set boundaries boundaries. So for those of you who are little codependent coaches and healers out there, I just want to help all the broken birds. And eh, no, I'm going to do a free session for everybody. No, I'm going to do a discovery call for free for 30 minutes, which is actually more like an hour. Cause I want to make sure everybody likes me. No, no. All of these boundaries are violations of your heart chakra. So understanding that part of why we do this is because we want to feel loved and accepted and we want to feel enough. Somewhere in there, that little you got hurt. And so all that they did was just try and try and try to be loved and accepted. But true acceptance really comes from within. And so we have to be able to pour that into ourselves to feel enough, to feel like we are worthy. Um, And you feel like, and like, as I'm saying, it's like, okay, the worthiness that comes, that ties in with your pricing, right? Are you underpricing yourself? Hello. I just had a call with a client yesterday and I said, listen, spirit tells you when they want you to raise your prices. It's not because you're going to work one day to get to that point. It's because when they give you that next price, you are ready then. And I say like this, you know, skin suit, this human person that we're, you know, we're in this human experience, you might be the little dum-dum. We're the slow one. Our energy is moving fast and our spirit team knows exactly where we need to be. But we're like, I don't know, should I, I don't know, is I, maybe people can't afford me. But this little flesh bag doesn't know anything. This flesh bag is like, I'm just going to do what I'm told. And then the generations that have been passed down to me and all this other stuff, I'm going to just let that filter through everything. No, when your prices, and I don't mean to, for this to go on a tangent about raising your prices, but I know you guys like talk about money too. So I'll pause here for a second. Your worthiness, your innate worthiness is within you. It doesn't need, you don't need someone else to tell you, you are enough. You are worthy. You are enough because you were alive and you were breathing. Okay. So please take that into consideration when you consider your heart chakra. And again, throat and heart, these are two main, 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 main chakras that are 
blocked in most entrepreneurs. Um, I work on people a lot in these places. Um, dropping down into your solar plexus, two inches above your navel. This is our trust, our will center, what we want to put into the world. Um, I've also seen people blocked there around team members, like not wanting to hire team members, not trusting their team members. So this can really show up in in heavy ways. You know, if you're second guessing yourself and you're like, I don't know, I was going to do this, but now I'm not. What do you think? What do you think? What does they think? I'm going to hire a coach so that I can feel what they think. Like, eh, this is part of why you need to trust up here in your intuition and not just looking outside of yourself. You're going to, excuse me, I just had this knowing, right? Like you have this knowing in your gut, right? The gut instinct, it's your second brain. It's that part of you. I'm, I'm feeling releases as you're listening to this, as you're like, oh, I need to trust myself. So this year, make a pact with yourself to stop second guessing yourself. Just do the thing that you want to do and trust it's going to work out for you. Okay. It's going to work out for you. Um, drop down into your sacral chakra, your lower belly. This is like the womb, the cauldron, the creative center. This is part of how you put your creativity out into the world, what you're going to birth, think of it that way. And so if we are stifled and stuck, creative centers, our creative juices, we're going to be like, I don't even know. Should I make reels? Should I be on TikTok? Should I shut down my entire business? What course should I create? What kind of imagery? Should I make a logo? I don't know. Like it's going to keep you stuck and stagnant. So we have to be able to clear through a creative center so that we can move that energy out. It's not meant to be stuck and stagnant in your second chakra. Finally, root chakra, base chakra, first chakra, whatever you want to call it. This is all about... I call it like the junk drawer, okay? Your safety, your security, your finances, and your family. Oh, did you all feel that? It's so much. It's a lot. There's a lot in there. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot happening in your root chakra. And when you can stay rooted and grounded every single day, not going to just like tell you how to live your life, but I will say this, the reason why I go outside every single day and take a walk in nature is to keep myself grounded. Part of why I keep myself grounded is because a lot of energy is going to be moving up and down and through my system. And I need to know where my true north is. Part of why getting outside of nature is so important is to keep you grounded in your true self. That's why everyone says, oh, Emily, I love your energy. You're so authentic. You're so you. It's like, yeah, thanks. This is the only thing I know. This is all I know how to do. That's not totally true. But 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 part of that is like starting your day tapping back into your divine wisdom, grounding it, releasing and letting go of the things that aren't serving you and open up to new potential. So all this being said is, can you, with just these quick little descriptions, identify if your chakras are potentially blocked? Are they screaming? Are they alerting you with bright red lights and flashing things? Are they telling you, yes, I am feeling blocked in uh, the business in those places. Can we move that? So if you are wanting to learn more about your chakras, your body, how to get your energy and your business to be in alignment, I'm going to help you to do that through the business and soul alignment experience. Um, you're going to learn how to determine your alignment through a personalized assessment. So I'm going to basically explain all this good stuff. We're going to take you through an assessment where you're going to learn all the different five elements that when you're aligned are going to lead to explosive results. Uh, I'm going to teach you how I 10X my business by accessing the wisdom hidden right here in my energy field. And you can too. Um, and I want you to also learn how when you're blocked, it actually does impact your business and how to fix that. Um, because I really believe you're here for a reason and I want to help you to create more impact now while working less, feeling in alignment and feeling at your optimal health level. Because I really believe you deserve to do the work you're here to do to make an impact while feeling awesome. You don't have to sacrifice yourself and your energy and your time just to hit these big milestones that you're reaching out for. Um, so if you have already sacrificed yourself, understand that you can also snap back when you prioritize your health and healing and your alignment. So with that, the chimes are going off. The dog is barking. We are here at the end of this podcast episode. I would love to hear from you um, for sure on Instagram, 
leave me um, a DM or send me a note. Just uh, let me know where do you feel like you're blocked, which one resonated the most with you. And if you would like to sign up for the business and soul alignment experience, you can head on over to my website, emilyarons.com forward slash BSA for business and soul alignment experience. It's emilyarons.com forward slash BSA. I'm sure there will be a spot open for you. And we are doing it for the first of the year, completely free. So you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, can I afford it? It's going to be free. It's going to be live. Um, if you do register, but you can't make a live recording, we'll send you the recording. Um, also a really fun bonus is I'm giving a gift to everybody who comes live to the business and soul alignment experience, which is my brand new chakra intensive workshop. You can get it as a gift when you come to the live workshop. Um, but we will offer the business in soul alignment workshop for free. We will offer the chakra intensive workshop later for other folks who want to join maybe last minute. We might open a few spots for you last minute. So uh, likely we'll have like a chakra intensive workshop wait list. So if you want to come, we probably won't open the doors until really super late um, and only for a limited time for a limited number of people. So the best way to get that chakra intensive workshop is to come to the business and soul alignment experience, emilyarons.com forward slash BSA. It's free. I believe it's going to be on Tuesday, January 24th. Um, so you can come to that register for free, emilyarons.com forward slash BSA. I hope you enjoyed this podcast episode. Share with a friend who you think would love it. And it's a great way to start to get familiar with your chakras and how they are affecting the business. All right. We'll see you on the next episode. Lots of love.